past six months, all has been quiet at Hell's Kitchen. But although the monster slumbers, the memories live on. Only three have ever survived the trials of Hell's Kitchen. Now, we are reawakening the beast. are about to step into battle. Bring it on. This year, the stakes are bigger than ever. One of you is going to become the executive chef at my new restaurant here in Los Angeles. A position worth a quarter of a million dollars. You can bet I'll be pushing these chefs harder than I ever have before. And the chefs will sink to new lows to win. I'll step on people all the way to the top. For some chefs, this will be a dream world. Very nice. But for others, it will be their worst nightmare. Down, down. Oh, shut it down. Shut it down. Turn it off. Done. I, I can't take it. Chef Ramsay freaks me out. These 15 aspiring chefs are on their way to Hell's Kitchen. The chefs think they know what lies ahead. But Chef Ramsay is planning a little surprise. The chefs are finally getting the chance to size up the competition. I just wanted to congratulate you guys and wish you good luck, but not good enough luck to win. My goal is show Gordon Ramsay that I'm the only one that knows how to cook, and the way I look at it is you're all going down. And that's the way I look at it. I'm five foot five. I've always been the short guy, the small guy. And the reason why I wear the chef hat is because I got to feel that I'm tall and I'm big in the kitchen. And that's the way I look at it. I want to win. I'm a winner. I want to win. I, I hate losing. You know? Like... I hear these people on the bus talking about how they're going to win. They ain't even a class with me. They're nothing to me. One hand would take out any of them. The saga of Hell's Kitchen continues. Nice. Hell yeah, baby. Oh, man! Oh, my God. Oh, wow. I never thought I'd love Hell so much. Kitchen, you must be all very excited to meet Chef Gordon Ramsay. Actually, I'm quite good in doing an impression of him. <laughs> one spaghetti, one risotto, one crap! What is this? No! <laughs> it's overcooked! <laughs> what about you? Could you do a little impression of Gordon? What about you? Come on, where is it? You're gonna have to work. <laughs> what about you, you big guy? Jean Philippe, it's time to open Hell's Kitchen. Come here, you, you donkey. That's right, it's me. <laughs> oh. Let's see if you can actually cook as good as you shout off on the bus. Get in there and cook me. We'll sing the dishes. Let's go. The chefs have been given just 45 minutes to prepare their signature dishes. And some of them desperately need this second chance to make a good impression. What did I get myself into? This is the worst sear I've ever done in my entire life. Two guys have finished, Matt and Ben. Last minute, plated and ready. Yes, chef. Yeah. Uh, okay. Behind, hot, skillet, hot. His rice should be slightly overcooked. Woo! Watch out. One minute to go. Well, you still got a whole minute, man. You're good. Well, Stop! A chef sings a dish, explains exactly who they are. Time to button it now and start cooking. If you can actually cook as good as you shout off on the bus. I'm excited to see what I've got to work with. Who's is this? I think it's my 
gotcha. You know, I'm disappointed in myself. Now, I've been cooking now for 21 years. I haven't quite come across a hat that size. Small boy syndrome downstairs. Okay, explain the dish. It's a jerk seared Chilean sea bass over rum raisin risotto. Everything's just so sweet. Well, the uh, the jerk seasoning offsets the uh, sweetness of the risotto. The fish may have been doused in jerk seasoning, but that's one thing I'm definitely not. A fucking jerk. That is a pile of shit. Take your hat, fuck off. <laughs> you come down to my kitchen again with a ridiculous hat on like that, I'll stick it in your arm sideways. I wear my chef hat every single day. I feel naked without it. Being more passionate about cooking than me. I'm not afraid to toot my own horn because I don't toot it, nobody else will. <laughs> and what you do for a living? I'm a garbage chef now, so I pretty much do fruit, watermelon carvings. I can carve your face into a watermelon and it'll look just like you. What's the dish? It is a Dungeness crab and corn risotto with a lobster tail. Oh no! <laughs> Damn! The rice is raw. And you're now on the gala manger, which is the cold part of the kitchen, which confirms you can't cook. There's a difference between constructive criticism and someone just being a butthead. I think Chef Ramsey might need to read a couple of books. He has absolutely no idea what he's talking about, and he has absolutely no idea who he's talking to. With this group of hopefuls off to a bad start, Who's is this? Chef Ramsay is looking for someone to blow him away. Private Chef Corey. That tells me a lot about you. Simple, plain, blonde, and boring. Fails to deliver. Sous Chef Jason. It wouldn't even pass as something tinned in a can. Doesn't fare much better. And caterer Shayna. You burned the thing. Leaves Chef Ramsay still hungry for a dish he likes. Please, God, let there be something on the next plate. My signature dish is going to help me stand out because I'm a true culinarian. I understand what Gordon's looking for. What is it? I call it an exotic tartare because it's with venison and diver scallops with caviar and white chocolate. And... Oh, stop, stop, stop. stop. Uh, let me just get this right again. Either that or I'm just about to be punked. <laughs> diver scallops, chopped up, caviar, and white chocolate. Do you smoke? Cigarettes? No. Raw venison, raw quail egg, lime zest, olive oil, scallops, caviar, and grated white chocolate. Capers as well. I've ever tasted in 21 years of cooking. Piss off with you. I really don't understand what Chef Ramsay didn't like about the dish. I'm a little boggled on that. 